<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? I did uh, a few changes to my Glock, if I can get this tripod straightened out, that I wanted to show you. Um, not sure if you'll hear it, but in the background I have a little Eric Johnson. If you don't like Eric Johnson, you probably could be a homo. So let's roll out here. We have taken off the RMR, and I've put in a plate. I know that's probably shocking. Um, I got hard on the cash, sold the RMR. I will be putting one back. I also ditched the um, Ameriglow suppressor sights for true Trigicons. You will notice immediately the Trigicons are much taller. Much taller. Um, and uh, the front sight is much more robust. You'll see it has a, um, if I can let's see if I can get it here. If I can get it to focus. It has a wider base on the Trigicon. That doesn't help much, does it? Um, also, the, the Trigicon sight, the blade is much thicker. It seems much thicker. Both sights are taller, and it seems like they're taller by a good 20 maybe 30 thou, it seems that way. I would measure, but I don't have the the old ones to compare it to. Um, but same three dot that uh, Trigicon's known for. The finish of the Trigicon is much nicer than the Ameriglow. The Trigicon feels like it's got a like a like a paint it's just got a very slick gloss feel on both sides um, the uh, Ameriglow just had a black oxide which scratched fairly easily uh, the Trigicon I think is is the better sight but when I get an RMR I'll be able to verify if the actual dots are higher because um, if you know the problem I had when I had the RMR on was I should have went 20 maybe 30 thou deeper into the slide so that I could truly get the dots above the deck of the RMR what I mean by that is let's say that this magazine is the deck of the RMR. The sights, let's say the, the dots are this hex wrench. And the sights, the, the actual dot would sit right on the deck uh, like so. Both dots sat right on the deck I wanted to get the dots up off the deck like this, you know, somewhere like up in here. <clears throat> Not sure if that makes sense to you. However, I think that the that these dots will sit up off the deck a little bit instead of sitting directly on the deck. So only time can tell, but. If I was to offer you any advice on this, I would say spend the extra 30 or 40 bucks, get the Trigicon, avoid the Ameriglow, not because the dots are going to be the same. Trigicon puts their lamps, their vowels, their sapphire windows uh, into the Ameriglow. Where you're going to notice the better quality is in the body 
in the body of the site itself, in the finish of the site. Um, and like take for example, take for example this front site, it's much thicker, much more robust, plus you've got this base at the bottom to make the site, you know, just that much more robust. Or the Ameriglow does not offer that. They offer just a base, just a, uh, I mean, just a, excuse me, they offer just the blade that goes right down to the slide. That blade seems to be thinner as well. And I noticed that right off the bat when I was installing them for the first time, I thought, man, one good hit and that's done. I'll tell you another thing. The Trigicon, the screw that goes and holds this sight on, the screw is much longer as well. So I'm very satisfied with the Trigicon brand. Um, so just a, just a short review. I tried to make it as short as I could. I shot them today. I pushed this on. It was, it was good to go right off the bat. Um, they just look great and uh, you know anything you get from Trig Trigicon is quality um, so yeah I mean this is something that I would definitely look into if you want to go RMR I would definitely go with these over the Ameriglow if I had to do it again I would have had these the first time <clears throat> so there you go um, any questions you want to see um, you want to see anything else just let me know if you uh, want to tell me uh, something like I'm a moron that's great too shoot me uh, shoot me uh, any questions or comments and we'll go from there bye